Hi, I'm Liz Needham. Today we're looking at probability two-way tables and here is an example of relative risk. Here's our problem. For a term, Wurramu keeps a record of whether he walks or bikes to school and whether he is late. So his results are shown in this table. Okay, so we can see that he's not late or late and biking or walking and he has recorded this for 50 days. So we want to first of all find the absolute risk that Wurramu is late to school. So that's asking us what is the probability that Wurramu is going to be late. So an absolute risk in this case is just the probability of being late. So that's just absolute risk is another saying for probability. So in this case the chance that he is late, well we look at that and we say right there were 14 times that he was late out of the 50 times that he went to school. So the probability that he is late is 14 out of 50, which if I turn that into a decimal would be 0 0.28. Let's look at another question. Calculate the probability that he is late on a day when he walks to school. When he walks to school. That is known information. I'm saying that for sure here. It's a day that he has walked to school. So I need, this is conditional probability. I'm going to narrow it down and just look at the days where he's walked. So there were 22 days that he walked. And I want to know from those 22 days, how often is he late? So he is late 10 times out of that 22. So our probability of being late given that he walks to school is 10 out of 22 or as a decimal 0 0.4545. Let's have a look at this question. Calculate the probability that he is late on a day when he bikes to school. So again here's our conditional when he bikes to school. So we're just looking at the days where he's biked. So there were 28 days that he biked and from those there were four times that he was late. So the probability of being late given that he biked to school is 4 out of 28 or as a decimal that would be 0 0.1429. Let's try this. Calculate the relative risk of being late. Okay, relative risk, there's a big clue. We want the relative risk of being late when he walks compared with when he bikes. So in terms of my relative risk, I want to compare when he walks to school versus when he bikes to school. And I want to look at the chance that he is late given that he walks versus that he is late given that he bikes. And I want the probability of that conditional probability divided by the other. So those are the two probabilities which you actually just found. So if I go back here, probability of late given that he walks is 0.4545. And I'm actually going to leave that as the fraction 10 over 22. So there's 10 over 22, all divided by the probability of being late given that he bikes is 4 out of 28. Now when I go to type that into my calculator, I would type in 10 fraction 12 and then I would say divided by 4 fraction 28 and then press equals. And that will come out to be a value of 3.18. So the relative risk of being late when he walks compared to when he bikes is 3.18. Now what we need to do is explain what this result means. So remember we're comparing, it's the probability of being late given that he walked versus the probability of being late given that he biked. And that was a value of 3.18. So what it means is that Wurramu is, notice the wording here again, 3.18 times more likely. There is your key phrase. Okay, 
this many times more likely. As soon as you talk about relative risk, that's the phrasing we want. He's 3.18 times more likely to be late when he walks to school. I'm going for the one on the top, numerator, walks to school compared with biking. Thank you very much for watching. Please feel free to visit my website for other videos and other resources.